Hello everybody, welcome to my channel if you are new, welcome back if you are returning. My name is Keisha and I am here to plan for the week of March 25th through the 31st. This planner is a big happy planner size, but these pages are my own that I've created. Um, I will link them down below. I have them on Teachers Pay Teachers just because I'm in education and I feel like other educators might be able to benefit from them. Also, I want to apologize because this uh back shadow lighting is not the best you can see like look my arms i got that above the camera and you can still see them but this is just what the lighting is that we're dealing with i'm at school right now so i am using this kit from pansy's prints and it is the cutest easter bunny stuff oh my gosh so cute i love the double scene We've got some checklists to work with, some flags, the cutest deco that I had to include. I ended up like taking a snippet of it and blowing it up so that it was like big deco and not little. Usually the deco is like on a page that's like this big. So really cool. Some washi um, mixed with some like, these are like the half size boxes. This is a cute scene. I love this with the slippers. Like, look how freaking cute the slippers are. Weekend, some flags here, and then all of my boxes. This is all the boxes that I, um, like, was able to pull from it. So I decided to just make my own boxes and I used it based off of the coloring. Then I realized that this is, like, not the best coloring. Like... That teal just does not match, but it's still cute. It's fine. So if you want to see this plan with me, then just stick around. All right, first up we have is Monday the 25th. Look how cute these headers are they're the floral I pulled these in from last week's plan with me I figured why not use something that I already have Monday Tuesday okay Monday is a no student day for us at school let's just pull one of these boxes in so um, I believe I have a faculty meeting uh, very first thing Actually, I take that back. It's not a faculty meeting, it's a staff meeting, but that's okay. Um, I have that, and then I actually don't have anything else planned for Monday. It is, a new, like I said, no student day, so students uh, or teachers might take advantage of having me there. Um, the goal is just to get uh, all of their grading done, anything that they possibly could or need to do um, without students available is the goal. So I'm going to put no student day right here. Um, yeah. And then Monday night, I have my last community school class. So my last community school class is after school well not after school it's like much later it's at 6 30 on monday but it's my last one i'm excited though i'm ready to be done although oh sorry although i have loved teaching the class i am just ready to be done let me find my meeting sticker for this Okay, I'm gonna be using this meeting sticker that I created myself. It's on glossy paper, which is not my favorite, but it works out really well. So meeting, and then I'll pull this computer. I did use my computer or a computer down here for community school because I do teach using a computer. Before I put down my full box here, let's put Tuesday down. Tuesday all day, I am going to be at um, an all day meeting. I'm trying to think, should I just turn this sideways? That one is a little big, but it honestly is probably perfect. So 
Let's cut this down a little. Okay. And we will place this down here. All right. That's for my coaching academy. It's a little crooked, but not terribly noticeable. Um, what coaching academy is, is just a, a day long meeting with other coaches like myself. Um, we do it once a month and we do collaboration. We do different things like that. So then after school, Layla has gymnastics. Let me pull in our cute gymnastics girl. We'll use this one right here because she kind of matches. Can't really tell because of the back of my skin, but her Leo is like orange and black. And then let me pull in the gymnastics script that I have that I made on my Cricut. And... Yeah, that's good for this day. So, um, let's see what full boxes I wanna do. I'm gonna do this full box right here. So cute, I love the bunny slippers. I love the bunny, freaking adorable. And let's see what else. Which one do I wanna put here? Maybe this cute one that has the tulips in it down here further all right now I do have some checklist if I can find everything man I am a mess it seems like when I have more space I make myself just so much more messy so we've got this pink and let's see how big I want it to be okay I'm gonna white out the dots So we'll do this right here, try and make it as aligned as possible. And we'll do the cute teal, same thing, make it as aligned as possible, good. We'll do the orange, it's more like a salmon color, in my eyes it's orange but also it's salmon. So. Both things can be true. And let's do, um, I wanna do purple, but I'm trying to decide like, do I just do this little one? Because the way the ombre works with purple is that it cuts off the white, at least with how my Cricut was working. Yeah, I'm just gonna do two purples. I can't really tell that it's two. Um, the middle color for a purple ombre is actually white, which is funny because these are all just lighter versions, but for some reason it just marked as, oh, let's do white. Okay, um, I'm going to put this right here where this to-do goes, and then I'm going to work to try and find myself a to-do. Um, I need to lift that up and put that more centered all right not more centered but what i could do is i'm going to pull in some of nope this deco and do a cute deco here cute deco here i love this deco you can kind of see i'll show you what um the deco typically is in size uh, it's usually about this size, 
So you can kind of see what I did is like, I'm, oh here, here's a better version. And I even zoomed this out too. So you can kind of see how much bigger the ones that I made are. Um, let's put some of these ones down too. The little ones in the areas that need it. This donut looks so good. Uh, can I eat it? No, but yeah. Okay. Let's see. I was going to look for a to-do. to do but I was looking through this is the oh so many stickers mega book and there is a to do actually I just saw it um, it was in like one of the center it's probably it was one of these like flags that would match but that's a little small I was actually just thinking they've got one that says list on it let's see party um, you don't find the one that says list. There it is. I'm not going to use, I'm going to do black. Could I have kept to do? Sure. But that's not as cute. I'm going to be using this book soon in my mini, I believe. Actually, I probably should use it in this too, but nonetheless, list. Cute. Don't know what that was. Okay. Uh, for the no student day, I'm going to do this cute egg right there, and that's it. So let's move on to Wednesday, Thursday. All right, Wednesday, Thursday. So Wednesday, I have meetings like normal. Thursday, I'm not going to be at work, the 28th. Same with Friday, Saturday, Friday, I'm not gonna be at work either. Um, I have meetings with teachers, first period and second period. First period, second period, so cute, I love the colors. We're gonna use the same meeting stickers that I have right here. Okay, and then Wednesday, I have, oh, we are leaving out of town on Wednesday. So, um, I am going to, how am I going to mark that we're driving? I wonder if there's any car icons. There's cart icons, but no car icons. So, I'm gonna do <clears throat> this one. We're gonna be driving to a city that is a couple hours away, going on a little road trip. Let's do this cute perfume. Then on these days, I'm going to also be going on that, or in that same town, um, and I have scripts for that. We'll do that. Why does it look go down crooked, but it's like it doesn't, whatever. Just my own set down problems. And I have, I made these on my Cricut. Uh, the reason why we're going is, so my husband works for a healthcare company here and um, they are doing this big health tour and one of the locations happens to be in St. George. And so we are taking this little road trip as a family to not only support my husband, but also to get away while we can. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put in the big boxes. Put one here. Put one here 
let them cross over a little bit. Don't need the times for, for Thursday, so that works out. Trey's gonna be missing hockey and that's okay. Let's put down our stickers, or our checklist. All right, and I'm gonna start from the bottom and move up, going backwards this time. One, two, three, oh, it's starting to grow crooked. It's okay, I can hopefully try and fix it with these ones. Four, and five. And then I'm gonna put down this salmon sticker for my to-do. I'm gonna leave a little space, not too much overlap. Let's pull our list sticker. I'm gonna have to focus on packing too because we're going out of town. The nice thing is, is the city is one, you know, four hours away, but two, it's not like a rural city. There are plenty of things for us to do and if we need to, we can stop at the store if we forget anything, which I have done in the past when I've gone to this city. Uh, like, oh crap, I packed my family everything that they needed and I forgot a swimsuit, which, you know, dang, I need a new swimsuit. <laughs> which is to, oh, double, double, that's okay. It's a cute bunny bag though. So cute. So cute. So yeah, um, we're following my husband down there, actually not following, we're all driving together. And uh, we get to enjoy the warmth. St. George is, um, you know, when you imagine Utah, you imagine either, uh, and this is my assumption, typically people imagine either uh, Park City, where the Olympics, majority of the Olympic games were held, not all of them, but some of them, um, like the ski events, snowboard events, those kinds of things were held there. Or you imagine like Bryce Canyon and Zions and those kinds of things. Um, and Zion. Anyway, I was just interrupted with a phone call, but, um, many people imagine, uh, when they imagine Utah, they imagine, um, you know, those two things. And where we are going is very close to Zion's National Park. Um, it's like 45 minutes from Bryce Canyon. I, I actually used to live in the city. Um, and yeah, it's a fun little getaway, but it's funny how like different the weather is just four hours south of us. It's a, uh, the weather is very Arizona centralized. It's like, um, it's dry and, uh, yeah, like red rock, heat, very warm. And it's only like an hour, hour and a half from Las Vegas. So that can kind of give you an idea of like what we're looking at. Um, but it's gonna be fun to get away. Um, my kids don't have school on Friday, so that's one of the reasons why I decided, okay, you know, we don't get many opportunities like this. We're going to go down, let dad do his event while also enjoying the warmth because Utah is, or Salt Lake is very, you know, never know what the weather's going to look like in Salt Lake. Uh, it's funny, I just saw a picture from like April 4th of last year and it was terribly snowy like in some states it would close down school so uh and that was April <laughs> did not close down school because it was a weekend I remember it but still it's this one's for Easter uh, we'll 
stack this so it doesn't go over the Sunday. Um, yeah, I'm excited, and who knows, we might take a day trip on, you know, Friday down to Las Vegas, eat some of their food, I don't know. And then we come home on Saturday and enjoy the Easter Bunny coming on Sunday. My kids don't have school on Friday because it's Good Friday, so that is why um, they go to a Catholic school. So the whole campus is closed, and then their spring break usually coincides with Easter break or Easter weekend, and mine just so happens to this year as well. It rarely happens. I usually like spring break by myself, but don't always get what you want, and yeah, so... I'm gonna use these box or these uh, checklists for these two days. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm really excited to go. We'll use these ones to do this one up here. They're a little bit smaller, but that's okay. All right. Let's get the list. And I'm going to be planning for spring break week, and it's going to be so nice. But I wanted to show you a different way to plan, and I will, um, when, I, when I actually plan it, you'll see um, how, like, how many options you have when it comes down to planning and printable planners and things like that. Like... Many people just resort to the planners that are already created, which is totally fine. But, um, and then I'm going to make sure that I mark that my kids do not have school on this day. So I have this no school script. I'm gonna close this book. This no school script right here. Um, I'm going to put it at the top with this cute blue, although it doesn't, oh, it matches this one. See, that's the same, but it doesn't match that teal. That's fine. Okay, no school. All right, let me get what I need to filled out and I will be right back. I'm officially back in the planner and I wanted to show what I had left along with what I added. So um, I put the last remaining scene, which is just like a cut of the larger scene that I put on Easter um, up here at the front. Why not? So this is what I have left. I have some flags and some checklists. I have some washi with a Monday through Sunday and some icons. I have some more flags, my work, sick day plan. I'm completely done with this page, which had all the full boxes and those um, four kind of these these stickers, okay? Um, I have some icons and then I have some boxes. So let's see what the planner looks like now that it is filled out and in my planner as a, you know, consistent thing. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So this is that scene. So like the one that's up front is of like this much down, but this one includes like the banner and the cute like circles that are in the fence posts. So yeah, um, I don't know if this sticker kit is still available, but if it is, I will make sure to list it down below. Uh, again, it's from Pansy's Print. She is still in business. So even if it's not, her shop will be listed below for you. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful uh, time watching this. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Bye guys.